Hello everyone, it's Serge from SN3 Gaming. Today we are going to go over the Thrustmaster uh, HOTUS Warthog Edition. This is a replica of the United States Air Force's A-10 Warthog. And I received this from my wife on my birthday um, back in September. So I've been using this for the past couple of months, running games uh, like Elite Dangerous. And that's pretty much the only sim I've been using it for lately. Uh, I do have Flight, Simula Flight Simulator, but I haven't really been playing much of that. So, I, uh, you know, like I said, there these aren't going to be very in-depth reviews. It's just going to be me telling you my thoughts. This is a combo. You can buy the, the throttle and the stick separately. And I will go through each one of those individually. So uh, stay tuned, and here we go. Okay, so the first item we're going to go through is the, is the throttle itself, which I find it to be my favorite part of the pair. Uh, the throttle is pretty sturdy. It's mostly metal around the base, and it's got it's pretty heavy. It's not going to go anywhere. I have this mounted on my on my rig uh, using that very strong Velcro that you would use for like uh, your you know if you have like a a toll booth pass or something and you mount to your windows. I have something like that on here, so it's not going anywhere. Uh, as you can see, it's got various LEDs. And uh, various button setups, lots of combos you can use. Uh, obviously, you don't have to use it what it's instructed on here. You can set this up any way you'd like, and you can go about with it. It's got a nice little plate over here, as well as the thrust map, the Warthog uh, number number. I. One cool thing is I've noticed in Etsy that they actually sell different plates that you can replace these and use something for a game that you're playing. I know there's one for Elite Dangerous that I'm thinking about getting, and I think the person also comes with a, also has a, has like a script where you can change the settings on these. Uh, the throttle itself, you can split it. Right now it's just one piece, but you can end up, if you do that, you can have two different, and using for two different functions. Uh, right now, I have it just for one setting. There's also something over here, like I said, you, uh, this guy, this piece, you can flip it over and it'll stop at a certain area, and depending on the game setting you have, uh, for now, uh, the only negative I have is I really wish this was more of a, like, the old throttle where, like, this is reverse and this is forward. I'm sure there's a way I can set that, but um, by default, this is just forward, and if you want to do reverse throttling, uh, there's a switch. I'm actually going to mess with Elite and see if I can make separate this and make this the reverse throttle, reverse thrust. And, and see how that works. <laughs> but yeah, print plenty of button functions. And of course, over here, you can see the, the switches here as well. So you're not gonna, you're gonna have plenty of uh, options on here and nothing for you to worry about. So that's, that's the throttle. Like I said, I, I really like it. It just has so much, it's also pretty cool, cool and immersive on it. So that's why I, I'm always, yeah, I'm definitely keeping this. <laughs> so uh, let's go to the flight stick next. Now, as you can see, this is the flight stick. Just like its throttle counterpart, it's pretty solid and well built. Has plenty of switches you can customize around it. Uh, let me let's just do a little scroll on one side and check it out from here. And scroll on the other side. Hold it. It's detachable. You can just loop so you can just loosen off the base from here. Unscrew this. Pull pull out the uh, stick. 
which I do when I go sim racing because I move uh, my keyboard is hovering over this when I do sim racing. So I try to keep that, keep this in a, in a secured way. There's Ezra, by the way, if you want to say hi to Ezra. And then there's Shara. She's wondering what I'm doing. <laughs> but the, so yeah, it's a nice stick. Uh, the base, of course, also very solid. You know, it's just this giant plate. Uh, I have this also mounted with the, the same Velcro as well. Now, my big negative here is, uh, which isn't going to be a big deal if you have rudder pedals, but I can't do the old yaw twist, um, which, again, if you have th rudder pedals, uh, that's not a big deal, but for me and, um, and most elite dangerous pilots who, who, use, who use a stick, that's the main stay of this game, uh, main, main stay of this, is the yaw twist. Uh, so I am, I have to, I have to find, figure out another way. So I, I'm using these switches to do, to do the rudders. I do have, I do use my, uh, my racing pedals sometimes, but that's not something that I wanted to have as a long term. And honestly, like, had I known that I couldn't do use uh, use the yaw that way, I may have considered just getting the throttle and maybe going to like Vorpal or another brand for this. It's just it's just kind of disappointing. I know Thrustmaster was going to make it as realistic looking and usable as the Warthog as possible, but I do wish they had made may have made a mate a uh, version where like you could do the yaw twist for other games other than you know flight simulator or the other flight games because you know there's 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 their fair share of space sims like elite and uh, a couple others but in the you know it's still pretty cool pretty good and solid and it's got so many like functions that I can use and it's it's you know it's not not bad um, compared to my other set you know, I really do like it, and uh, they. But it is pretty pricey, so if you're really seriously thinking about upgrading, just just take those into consideration. But yeah, that's it for for this. Uh, like I said, it's not much. This wasn't a big video in depth reviews. It's just something that I, I talk about. Like I said, with a lot of my stuff, I just want to show what I use and um, my thoughts on them. And this is one of those items that. I um, wanted to talk about. This is also my first video I'm using my new mirrorless camera uh, filming. So I have a lot to learn with this. Uh, right now I have everything set to 1080p because I think that's probably the best setting for it. And um, yeah, that is it. So once again, I appreciate you guys watching. As usual, if you can like and subscribe to my channel, if you haven't, that would be very most appreciated. Also, if you can follow me on Twitch, I do stream on Mondays and Thursdays. Uh, and Mondays I do iRacing, and Thursdays are mostly random games. Uh, lately, I've been working on Elite Dangerous because the Thargoids are invading the bubble, and I need to help the cause. Anyways, you guys have a good evening, and till then, take care. Bye now.